friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory explicit content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber and we are back here again by popular demand. It is another action figure review. This time we have a vintage action figure right here for you guys. Um, now what's amazing about this figure is if you're looking at the price right here, it says $1.98, but I didn't pay no $1.98 for this figure guys. Um, whoever I bought this from, if this person actually got this figure for a dollar ninety eight, good good for them, good for them, dude. Cause uh, yeah, these figures don't go for no dollar ninety eight, man. Um, so if you guys are not familiar with my channel or what I've been reviewing over the past year, I guess is the year. Yeah, it's been a year since I've been reviewing a lot of Stan Winston figures. These are Stan Winston creatures right there. How to make a monster. This guy looks freaking awesome. Of course, it comes with a CD-ROM exclusive. I don't know if I can play that on my CD player because I don't I don't have a CD-ROM. Um, I don't know if CD-ROMs can actually play in DVD players, but I, I'll, I'll give it a shot. If, if it can, and if I can watch the CD-ROM on a DVD player, um, I'll try to shoot some footage for you guys. If not, then... You guys won't see any footage edited edited into this video. Okay, so with all that being said, this is the Evolution Demon, how to make a monster right there. And essentially creating the figure, it's pretty much a CD-ROM of, of them creating this figure. Here is the back, ladies and gentlemen. All the figures you can get from this wave. I have all these figures with the exception of Earth vs. Spider. Spider Quentin. Um, so, man, let me tell you guys, these, uh, Stan Winston figures are really, really awesome, man. Um, and some of these figures, they, they are from 2001. Most of these figures are from 2001, if not all of them. Uh, Stan Winston's Animal Kingdom, Monster Mythology, Extreme Gargoyles. Those Extreme Gargoyles, guys, they go for a lot of freaking money, dude. If you can find those Stan Winston Gargoyle, Gargoyles, Wow. Uh, Stan Winston, the Alien Universe, Nightmare Demon, so on and so forth. Uh, as you guys know, I've reviewed some figures from Mutant Earth, Stan Winston's Mutant Earth, and then I believe Realm of the Claw uh, I've reviewed as well. But some of these lines are really hard to find, and those extreme gargoyles are really, really pricey, dude. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this out. I'm a fan of... These lost treasures, as you guys know. He's on perfect, perfect card, dude. But you know what? He's going to have to come out, dude. This is an unboxing channel. I can't leave him in here. Uh, as much as I would love to leave him in here, I cannot leave this guy in here. And he is from 2001, so that means he is 20 years old if you're watching this channel. So there's the CD-ROM right there. Let's take a look at Evil Lucian Demon. Man oh man. And uh yeah, this was this was before my collecting uh days, dude. So I, I missed the Stan Winston uh train. So all the people back in the day who were collecting these things, be lucky that you were able to collect them and still have them. Maybe, and maybe you still have them in package too. So let's take out Evolution Demon. Sorry about that Terminator. He's going to be there for a comparison. So here is Evolution Demon. Let's take him out. Nice. Nice. Of course, he comes with the base, as a lot of these Stan Winston figures do. He does have some stuff here, which I don't really know what this is, but we're going to take it out regardless. Let's 
slice it open. Slice it open. Slice it open. I have no idea what these things are. But we are going to find out. So before we take a look at his base, let's take a look at these things right here. So I'm guessing... I have no idea what these things are. They must go to his base in some way, shape, or form. You know what? <laughs> Let's go to the picture real quick. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. It goes to his base. Right there. Okay, so it's supposed to be like a television. As you guys can see. But I don't know what that strap goes to. It's beyond me. Alright, so let's take a look at Evolution Demon. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. And, and like a lot of these Stan Winston figs, they are pre-post statues. So, heads up with that one. But yeah, he looks really awesome, dude. Really, really nicely detailed, man. If there's one thing I can say about these Stan Winston figs, they are nicely, nicely detailed, man. They remind me, I don't want to say they remind me of McFarlane back in the day, but nobody was really doing this back in the day other than McFarlane. But they have their own unique touch to them, you know? Really, really nice, man. I love the bloody effect right there on his hands, the bloodiness. And then the mechanical parts over his bloody body. The spikes, he kind of looks like a skeleton zombie junkyard guy. Love the rags, the torn rags, as you can see. You see the mechanical wires coming out of there. Very reminiscent of what McFarlane normally would do, especially with, you know, some of his characters. The spikes on the chest right here, they are rubberized. Um, these are plastic right here. The horn is right here broken. Of course, it's meant to look that way. He's got a wire jaw. He's got some silver eyes. Spikes on the helmet that is kind of like a hard rubber plastic. Spikes right here. These are rubberized on his shoulders. Just overall, just great, great looking detail. These right here, mechanical parts right here for his legs. They are like a, a thin plastic right here. So be very careful with that. I guess if you damage it, it wouldn't make a difference because he looks damaged. I like that right there. You see part of his leg is missing right there. And then he has these mechanical apparatuses for legs. There's the back of him. Just very unique looking, man. Okay, so let's check out his articulation. So, head movement. Uh, waist, swivel, arms. This arm is pre-posed, but it does have a break right here, so you can get his arm to move inward like that. He does have a wrist swivel, but you can't... I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend swiveling it that much because it's attached... This blue wire is attached to his wrist, so if you rotate it too much, you might break that wire off. Same thing goes for this wrist right here. You see the wire, it's attached to his wrist, attached to his arm. So if you were to rotate it, you probably would break off that wire. This arm is articulated. It can move up and down. He can wave to you as you leave his house. Goodbye! See you next Christmas! Or excuse me, see you next Halloween! Um, leg movement right there, two leg movements, so yeah, you can get his legs to move, but it really doesn't matter because his knees are pre-posed, they are not bendable at all, and he has nothing at the shins or at the ankles. Just an overall very unique looking figure, guys. Let me measure, we'll measure him in a moment, but we'll take a look at this base right here. Very, very unique. I don't know what the hell this is. Is this for his feet? Oh, yeah, it's for his feet. He's got two 
uh, two pegs right there, two peg holes, and then you have the two pegs right here. But this is what he's coming out of. I don't know what it's supposed to be, like a mechanical apparatus, part of a wall, maybe some, uh, some kind of contraption that he was put inside. Hence the name Evolution Demon. He's a demon that has evolved into a cybernetic monster. Very interesting base. It actually has some really nice weight to it, man. It's heavy. All the weight is right here, of course. This right here is very hollow and very light. 2001 Stan Winston Creatures. So I guess the television, I guess, or the monitor is supposed to sit just like right there. I don't know what the hell this belongs to. It has a bunch of holes in it. Maybe it's some kind of strap. Maybe it's for his chest. Maybe you can put it over his spikes or something. I'm not really for sure where this strap goes to. Of course, it doesn't give me directions, so I wouldn't know. Okay, so let's measure this guy before we put him on base. Because he actually, he actually is a big guy. But being that he's hunched over, he doesn't stand that tall. So... Evolution Evolution Demon stands approximately seven and one fourth. Well, actually, I would say a little under seven and a half inches going all the way up to the top of his head. Now, if this guy was standing up straightwards, he would probably stand over eight inches tall. So, yeah, he's a big guy. So before we put him on base, let's do some comparisons, being that we got some comparisons here. Here's Evolution Demon with the Terminator. I broke him out after I did the review of Necrocop. Um, speaking of cops, here's Robocop, NECA. NECA, Robocop right there. There's a little comparison. And I wanted to get my Necrocop here to do another comparison. So this was my last review, guys. Another, another pre-post statue. So there is Necrocop with Evolution Demon. So that was my last review if you guys didn't see it. And you know what? He kind of has like a very similar theme going on as well. Because he's kind of got like the loose cables too on his base. And he kind of looks like he's being electrocuted or electrified. And the same thing with this guy. He's got cables going on here. Cables on his base. So very, very similar looking. So let's peg this guy into the base. Let's see how well he stands. The pegs are a little freaking weird. Okay, so he stands like so. He stands awkwardly, kind of like Necrocop back here. I don't know where this goes, so I'm just going to put it in here for the time being. I guess you can probably put it anywhere or peg it any anywhere, dude. The mechanical hands, I forgot to show you the mechanical hands right there. I really like the concept of this guy. I really like the demon skull, dead zombie look with the mechanical stuff going on. It's a very, very unique thing. It, but it's not like I haven't seen this before. Like I said, I've seen it done with McFarlane uh, figures, specifically Spawn McFarlane figures. So it's nothing new to my eye. But it's not done by McFarlane. It's done by Stan Winston. So... Just a great overall looking piece, guys. So that's how they stand together. So if you're wondering how tall he stands on this base, he's, yeah, he's just almost, he's seven, he's at seven and seven eighth tall. That's just a little under eight inches. Okay, guys, yeah, so the base almost adds an, another inch to this figure. So let me go ahead and give you my rating, guys. Just primarily, um, this guy is not an action figure. So if you're looking for an articulated figure, like I said before with Necrocop, you know, when I when I did that review, this guy is a, just a pre-pose statue. But if you guys don't mind collecting pre-posed, nicely detailed, I'm, I guess, mini statues, then this guy is for you. I think he's really, really dope, man. Uh, the way he looks... Very well done. The paint apps are done nicely. Uh, he's very, very unique. Do I feel like they could have done better? I mean, listen, this was from 2001. So it was like 20 years ago. So 
I mean, for its time, they did a pretty damn good job. So I'm I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed at all how he looks. You know, the muddy look. Uh, you know, yeah, they could have done a little bit better sculpting. Maybe the mechanical stuff. And maybe his flesh as well, you know, to make it look a little bit more realistic. But with all that being said, he actually does look good. I mean, the bland colors, the blue and the silver and the, the dark brown. There's a lot of, like, dark and light brown over this figure. He does look kind of muddy, but at the same time, I think he's supposed to look muddy and dirty. So he's supposed to look grimy, you know what I mean? And I don't know. I think I, I don't mind the red and blue wires. They actually look good. But I th feel like if you're going to make this guy grimy, then you should have made the wires grimy as well. Because I feel like the wires are a little bit too bright on this guy. You know what I mean? Because if they were going for a grimy, grimy look, they should have made the wires a little bit more grimier instead of like brand new looking. If that makes any sense. I think you guys understood what I was saying. But listen, an overall very unique figure. The coloring is done very nicely. The figure is done very nicely, sculpted very nicely. Um, it's really, really, like I said, a lost masterpiece, lost treasure um, for these figs, man. So let me give you my rating. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, you know, I would like to give this guy a solid 8. But he, he's pretty close to an 8, but I'm going to give him like a 7.5. And, and I'm basing this on a statue review. It's not an action figure review, it is a statue review. So for that alone, I I really like him, dude. I really recommend this figure. Um, if, if Like I said, if you like collecting pre-posed figures, then this guy is definitely for you. You know, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't think I've been disappointed yet by... You know, the Stan Winston figures I've been collecting slowly but surely. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. What do you make of him? I, I actually like him. I think he's really, really, really awesome. The reason why I'm not giving him an 8 is because I gave this guy an 8. And it would be fair to give this guy an 8. Even though they're they're both equally good, I feel like this Necro Cop is just a little done a little bit better. But with that being said, don't sleep on this guy because he's actually really, really nice. So if you guys like horror stuff, if you guys like zombie stuff, if you guys like cool, creepy stuff like I do, then he's definitely an automatic pickup. There's no doubt about it. Um, I don't think you guys will be disappointed to add him to your collection. Okay, guys, let me know your thoughts on this guy right here. Evolution Demon. I like the name. I like the name. All right, we'll go ahead and leave it at that, guys. If you tuned in for this review, just want to say thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review.